Hey, Mega Bone Gang. A little out of breath. Had to drag the kayak over all of this. Back here, if you can see that, a bunch of flotons still left on the bank by this bridge here. And uh, I'm out of shape. So, got that going for us. Got all these lilies. This is this is why I hate lilies. These, these, these uh, hyacinth lilies. Of course, it's not all hyacinth. Anyway, I digress. We're out here. We're going to do some fishing. I'm not even going to make a prediction whether or not the fish are going to bite because uh, I've been wrong the last few times. But we're going to go out here. I'm going to do some bass fishing. But I got the bow. I don't know if you can see that back there. Got the bow fishing bow, because uh, the last few times I've been out, hadn't caught any bass, but I've been seeing a lot of garfish. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, might tackle us a little garfish, do a little catch, clean, cook with a garf. We can find one. If not, hopefully we'll at least catch a bass, redfish, something, so we can eat. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. I guess that's what they want. All right, hold on, little buddy. Hold on, little buddy. Ooh, there we go, boy. Our first little fish of the day. Look at that little bass. We're gonna go ahead and keep him. A little dink. Ain't very big. He's kind of beat up. Looks real beat up. I like to keep the smaller ones when I'm keeping bass. That way we let the big ones grow bigger. And this, uh, he ain't too small. I know a lot of y'all gonna say he's too small, but you can get a little fillet off of that and that's gonna be delicious. But we only gonna keep one bass today. That's all I'm looking to keep is one. And then, uh, but we're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna keep this one to eat and we're gonna try and find us a, a, a golf fish to go with it and we're gonna compare them, see which one tastes better. So I, I've been fishing for, oh, about two hours. Hadn't gotten a single bite, never even seen a fish other than a mullet jumping. I done fish with this little spinner bait this little uh little spinner with this little swim bait on there i done had that uh slobber knocker couldn't think of the name oh was that a bass no that was a big mullet i think i don't know what that was now i'm seeing fish anyway i was uh did a little texas rigging with a worm and a little uh baby d bomb or whatever and uh nothing not a single thing done hit this bank up and down Switched over to the little baby one minus, little golden chartreuse, the black top, all beat up. I mean, that might have been the third cast. And we got ourselves a little bass. I take it though. I take it. Oh, little garfish. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Let him pass me up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him though. Where'd he go? Done lost him. Oh, another fish. Fish on. Fish on. That is crazy, man. I hit this spot. I mean, I hit it hard. I hit it slow. I hit it fast. And nothing. Change over this little baby one minus, and that's what they want. A little crankbait. That's so crazy. A little bitty guy. Now, this thing is a little too small for the grease. Just saying. Right in the chest. Ooh. Right in the whole sternum. That tickled a bit. There we go. Here come another one. Another little dink. Little dinky do. Another little dinky do. I'll take it though. It sure is better than catching nothing, which is what we've been catching ever since we got back from Tennessee. But uh, I'll take it. I'll take the little guy. All right, buddy. Thank you for the fun. Oh, I hate the wind. I hate the wind. It's not even blowing that much. But I still hate it. Because I want to be able to stay in one spot, and I can't. You know, I'm surprised I haven't seen more garfish. Usually when I'm back here, they're everywhere. I've only seen about two. Ooh, little, oh, we had a little follower. We'll do follow it all the way up to the kayak. Tell you what, I'm seeing a whole lot of little perch up in here. Need to get a uh come back out here with a cock and some worms. There's a goldfish. Oh, is he gonna see me though? 
Oh, he seen me. He seen me. He seen me. He seen me. Dang it. That would have been a good one. Dang. There we go. The little boy. The little dude. Little bitty dude. Holy cow, what was that? Dude, something just attacked that crab. I don't know what's going on. Jeez. All right, I'm going to see if I can show you all this. When I stood up, most of them left. But that's a bunch of bluegill mixed with bass. That's a bass. That's insane. There's so many in here. So many little baby bass are like six inch bass. Oh crap, that's a bass big enough to bite. Oh, he's looking at me. Don't look at me. I'm not used to being able to see through the water. God, it's beautiful back here. Woo, that's the stuff. Oh, no, no, no. That was a fish. That was a decent fish and we popped off. Come on. That's my baby one minus. I need that back. Oh, I could see him. That is a big fish. Oh, he's a decent fish. I wonder if I can, how do I get him? I can see it. I can see him swimming around with my bait. I don't have a net. Oh. No. Oh, man. Oh, look at the size of that dude. God, he's swimming right. He's right there. I can see him. Oh, come on. Spit it out. Oh, he shook it off. Look, there it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes! Did you see that? Man, that was a decent bass, too. God, I wish I could have brought him in. There it is. Ah. Whew. At least we got it back. I still got my leader tied on, too. <laughs> I'll be a suck egg mule. Man, I wish we could have had him in. God, well, I'm going to sit right here and tie this back on because this is the deal for the day. This one's been getting it done. I said that drag a little looser though. Let me know in the comment guys what y'all use to tie a leader on. Uh, that was a double uni. Every time I tie a double uni, the knot breaks at the, the leader and not at the hook. But when I tie an FG knot, that don't happen. So that's what I, I just tied back on. And this is so pretty back here. There's a little garfish, but man, he looks kind of small. I don't even know if they hit him with that arrow. There we go, fish on. <sighs> Ooh, got him on the curl. Ooh, he, he wanted that one. He sucked that sucker way up. Another little dink. Man, how come we could pull the dinks up with that one big fish? Nothing. You know what I mean? Steals my bait, but we get it back. There we go, right at the boat. He took it right at the boat. Ooh, you messed up, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I did get you in the mouth, but it hooked you in the fin, too. Let's get this one out first. Woo, he almost hooked me. Oh, I don't need another hook in the finger. I've already got twice this year. Got one hook in the finger, one in the head. There's a few bass around here. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave that link in the comments below. The description, actually. There we go, got another one. There we go. Boy, it feels good to have a good day of fishing. Woo. All right, buddy. 
Appreciate you. Oh, okay. I'll let you go. You gotta jump right back in the boat. Oh, that's a fish. There's another fish. I'm telling you, these things are so small. <laughs> He's so small, I thought it's just a little piece of grass. You don't even feel a thump, you just feel like a little shh. And that's it. What a little guy. Alright, buddy. Can't wait to catch you next year. Tell you what, if all of these baby bass keep growing and don't get eaten by something else, next year, this place is going to be chock full of, chock full of fun. That's what it's going to be chock full of. Chock full of fun. Ooh, this reel needs to be grease. Put some earl on this reel. Oh, got another one in the very next cast. Very next cast. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is so much fun. All right, buddy. Whew. Can we go three for three? Look, there's another one right there. Jeez, I mean, no size to these things, but they're everywhere. Oh, oh cockeyed. Let's see, we can't catch one cockeyed. Oh, nope. That was my imagination. Holy moly. <laughs> Mullet just jumped in the boat. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Cheese him. Dude just jumped in the boat. Get one out of here. So obviously we didn't get any gar fish. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go out and do a gar fishing uh, thing. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go out and just bring the bow and just try and get some gar fish. Had a hard time doing it because the bass were biting. So I looked around the house and gathered some ingredients. We're making fish tacos. That's right, we're going to make some bass tacos. Something simple, quick and easy. Not frying them. Not battered and fried, we're just gonna pan fry them. Get the old cast iron heated up. And while that's heating up, we're gonna go ahead and season our fish. First thing we're gonna season with is some uh, Creole seasoning on both sides. That stuff tastes good on everything, y'all. Get it up, then we're gonna jazz that up a little bit better with that Trinity. For y'all that don't know, that's onion, bell pepper. Oh my gosh, that is entirely too much. Uh, onion, bell pepper, and celery, both sides. Get that. And then you can't go nowhere without the garlic dust. Creole seasoning has garlic powder in it, but I like garlic. Now we got the cast iron heated up, so a little dab will do your butter right there on the pan. Stir that around if I can find a spatula. bottom of that pan all nice and buttered up. Ooh, then we're going to drop that in there. Oh yeah. Look at that boy. All done up. Let's get this thing moving here boy. Slap a little dab of do your fish on there. A piece of fish right there in the shell. We're gonna stack a little bit of lettuce, some onion, some tomato. Ooh, I'm dropping things everywhere. We got this little cilantro lime sauce we're gonna put on that. Mmm, the taco is complete. Without some sour cream. Ain't got a spoon, just use a knife, you know. How that look? Ooh, I happen to love that sour cream, y'all. See how she tastes. That's good, y'all. That's <laughs> good. All you folks that don't eat bass, you're missing out. I'm telling you. It was good, yeah. But there you go, guys. That is a quick and easy way to eat your bass. Uh, it might have took me, what, maybe 30 minutes, and most of that was setting up the camera equipment and everything. But uh, really quick, really delicious. I think I'm going to go fix me another one and uh, eat that while y'all watch this video right here. Bye.